uh, this is one simple Power BI desktop file. Uh, our goal is to export all formulas from this uh, file into CSV file. We have three types of formulas. Uh, uh, only one table is uh, present in this uh, file. The table is created by formula, so it is calculated table. It is created by, by this formula. Uh, then uh, we have one column uh, that is calculated column created by, by this simple formula, and we have one measure uh, created by uh, this formula. Uh, for exporting all of these uh, formulas, we are going to use tabular editor. Uh, first, we have to connect ourselves to our Power BI desktop file. We go to File Open from DB, and if this is correct port, we are going to click on OK, and we are going to connect ourselves to Power BI desktop file. Uh, then we go to uh, Advanced Scripting Panel, and uh, here is all the code we need. We're going to paste all of this code into Tabular Editor. Uh, this uh, code first defines the location and name of a C uh, CSV file uh, where our uh, formulas will be written to. Uh, then we create object that is used to write to this uh, file. Uh, now for this object we are going to define uh, encoding. This is really important. So if we uh, open this uh, CSV file in uh, Excel and our formulas have uh, some unusual characters like uh, Cyrillic or Chinese characters, uh, Excel will uh, correctly open this file and it will correctly present uh, those characters to user. Uh, then we have three loops. Uh, first loop is for columns. Second loop is for, for tables, and third loop is for measures. Uh, we loop through all columns. If columns are of calculated type, uh, we write three values to our CSV file. So CSV file has, will have uh, three columns. First column is, is a label which explains what kind of formula this is. Uh, second is a uh, name of a column, or name of a table, or name of a measure, and then we write uh, formula itself. Now, because formulas can have line breaks, we are going to remove uh, those uh, line breaks, so our CSV file, file will be correctly formatted. Uh, after this, we're going to loop through all ta uh, the tables. Now, tables have partitions. In this case, partition is part of a table that is created by a formula. So f we are only looking for uh, partitions uh, that are part of uh, calculated tables because only those partitions are created by uh, formulas. So if partitions are of type calculated, again, we're going to write this label the name of a table, and uh, we're going to write a uh, formula itself. A uh, similar approach is used for uh, measures. After this, we have to uh, click on this uh, button uh, to uh, exec execute this code, and our result will be CSV file that uh, looks like this. The CSV file has uh, three um, uh, columns. In first column, there are labels which explain whether this formula is uh, a, for calculated column, calculated table, or measure. Uh, then we write name of a column, name of a table, or name of a measure, and then uh, we have uh, the formula itself.